Hey everybody, it's Mitch, and welcome to my next video. Today we have got another Dungeons & Dragons 3.5 Prestige class video for you. And today, from the Complete Warrior, we have... Give me a sec. The Ravager. So, we're going to be talking about them. It's an interesting Prestige class. So we're going to be talking about um, what they are, what it takes to get in. Uh, we're going to talk about what you get. And we're going to talk about uh, how good they are and how you might use them in a build. So let's get started. So the Ravager, um, they are a class um, that basically these guys are worshippers of, uh, what is it, uh, Erythnal, uh, if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, basically they are terrifying. They believe in slaughter and destruction and they, they like people being scared of them. They're, they're really big on that one. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a def they're an evil prestige class. Um, they tend to work in war bands. Occasionally you'll see them on their own. Um, but yeah, they're, that's really all they are. Uh, so yeah, the Ravager. Um, let's talk about, um, uh, what it takes to get in. We're going to talk a little bit in detail on that one because that it's actually an interesting one. Uh, so first off, uh, chaotic evil or, uh, uh, uh neutral evil. So, okay, like I say, it's an evil prestige class, it, uh, something that you're going to see more NPCs of, um, although a PC could adopt it, um, uh, you know, in an evil campaign or something. Um, let's see, uh, base attack bonus plus five, pretty reasonable. Um, skills, intimidate, uh, three ranks, knowledge, uh, three rank, knowledge, religion, three ranks, sorry, um, and survival, four ranks. So nothing too crazy. Uh, let's see. Then you got, uh, some feats of, uh, improved sunder and power attack. So not too bad. Um, and here's the special one. Um, special is a fun one. So you must survive the ravager initiation rites. So first, so let's talk about how you become just a ravager, not the prestige class, but just join a ravager band. Um, basically you approach a ravager band, uh, war band and you uh, express interest that you want to join. Um, and then some of the lowest, uh, level members of the, uh, war band will all start attacking you. And, um, uh, after three to 10 rounds, uh, depending on various circumstances, how well you're doing, how badly these guys actually, how hard these guys are actually trying to kill you. Um, and you know, just how cruel the leader of the war band is, um, you can see uh, after uh, you know after that time they'll stop attacking you and if you're still alive uh you're in <laughs> so uh yeah that's the, that's the ravagers for you um and that's not even to get into the class that's just to join the band um once you've joined the band then you have a second right you have to do um basically you uh pray to a rhythmal, um Meanwhile, the Ravager band will find a sacrifice for you, usually human. Um, and then you perform some really, uh, uh, then you basically kill the sacrifice in a very slow and painful way that involves bloodletting and it, it's really nasty. But once you're done, you're in and you can start advancing in the prestige class. So that's how you get in. Uh, pretty twisted. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, let's talk about what they get. Um, so first off, they get a good base attack bonus, so that's nice. Uh, they get a D10 hit dice again, nice. Um, they get what is it? A good fortitude save, but a bad reflex and will save. Uh, pretty solid for a martial class. Uh, skill points two plus int skill list isn't great, so definitely not skill monkeys. Um, let's see. Then they're also going to get a few abilities, so they're going to get pain touch. Um, they're going to get this at first level, and they'll get a, another use of this at 4th, uh, 7th, and 10th. It doesn't list it on the table as 10th, but it does say every three levels, so it should be. Um, that's a weird one that it's not listed on the table. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah. Um, basically what it does is you can either make a touch attack, which is kind of, as a standard action, uh, or you can just add some damage to uh, your weapon. It's going to be less with the weapon, so it'll be a D4 plus level versus a D8 um, if you do it as a touch attack. But honestly, you're probably better off doing the weapon version. <laughs> Let's be real. Um, 
Uh, it's a supernatural ability, so it's weird what the activation might be for this since it just seems like it's just adding extra damage. Um, anyways, yeah, it's only usable a few times a day anyway, so it's a little bit of decent damage, but that's about it. Um, you get Aura of Fear. This one's actually not too bad. Um, basically, um, uh, when you activate it, anything within 10 feet or eventually 30 feet of you uh, will have to... Uh, it's actually not even a save. They're just going to take a minus two penalty on all their saves. Yeah, it just it just works. No, there's no resisting it. It just it just causes negative two penalties on all saving throws uh, to any uh, and any of your foes within range, um, and it will last. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. The rain. Is, so it, it lasts for a while. Let's see. It says uh, as long as they remain within range. So as long as they stay within range, it'll still it'll stay on. So I guess if they leave, then I guess it works. But when it gets to 30, then it changes. Um, so it's decent. Um, it lasts for a number of rounds equal to uh, uh, your charisma plus three, I think. Yeah, your charisma plus three. So it's all right. Um, yeah. Uh, then eventually you get at third level, you get Cruelest Cut. Uh, this one's probably their best class feature. Um, basically, what it'll do is... Uh, you can only do it a number a few rounds per day, but um, you announce you're going to do it, and then uh, on that uh, that attack, it'll just do one d four points of con damage, uh, which is pretty nice. Con damage is one of the nicer uh, kinds of ability damage to do since it uh, can lower since it will lower your opponent's HP, and um, you know uh, that's always nice to lower uh, HP. So. Um, and it's based off of hit dice, so the more hit dice they have, the more health they lose from it. So, yeah, and it lowers max HP too, which is good. Uh, so yeah, just a uh, really good, uh, really good ability. Uh, and then of course they give a uh, Visage of Terror. Uh, finally uh, at tenth level. Uh, so this basically just gives them the abil uh, a spell like ability, um, which duplicates um, what is it, uh, uh, Phantasmal Killer. So it's not bad. Um, uh, it's got some nice flavor to it, so that uh, instead of the Phantasmal Killer's normal effect of, uh, you know, uh, duplicating, uh, of like creating a phantom image, like they become the phantom image. So that's kind of cool. Um, but other than that, it's the same. Uh, save DC is equal to uh, 10 plus uh, uh, class level, so 20. Um, plus, so basically it's just going to be 20 plus uh, charisma so something um, so that's what they get uh, now let's talk about how good they are um, so a lot of these abilities aren't the most powerful um, but some of them are decent like Cruelest Cut's alright um, can definitely be useful and the other ones are okay so it, it's something uh, you know it's got good base attack good uh, you know, good hit dice. So that's, that's something. Um, it's, it's, it's an all right prestige class. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about that. It can, it could potentially be useful on a lot of martial builds. Um, yeah. Oh, and, uh, or a fears. All right. Um, you know, dropping everyone's, uh, who's within 30 feet of use AC pretty good. And the fact that, um, it doesn't wear off just because, um, the, like when the effect wears off, like they're still have their ACs lowered as long as they stay within range. So that's kind of good. Um, but yeah, that's basically all I've, that's basically it for them. Um, it's an, it's an okay, um, prestige class, uh, nothing too crazy, nothing special. It's all right. Uh, anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel for more D&D 3.5 content. We do one of these on every single class race and prestige class in Dungeons & Dragons 3.5. Uh, so ring that notification bell so you never miss out on a video. Anyways, as always, I'm Mitch, and I'll be seeing you.